Hello and welcome to Booze Cruise Review. Today we're going to review a movie. Sarah, today we're going to talk about The Jungle Book. We just saw it last night and you are going to tell us about the beer we are pairing with the movie. Exactly. So today we are pairing the movie with Odell's Tree Shaker Imperial IPA. Tree Shaker Imperial IPA. So Odell is out of uh, Fort Collins, Colorado. Mm -hmm. And in this particular beer, they're using Colorado grown peaches okay. in their beer, which is actually kind of nice. Um, so they're trying to be extremely local, which is nice. Um, the ABV in this beer is 8%. Okay. And the IBUs, if you're interested in bitterness and IBUs, is 48%. So it's not too bad. This is about a usual IV or IPA. Um, I've had some that are a lot higher. I've had one in the hundreds and oh, that was better. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna try the beer and we're gonna see what we think about it. Yeah, let's let's try the beer first. Mm -hmm. We'll talk a little bit about the movie and then we'll tell you what we think about the beer. Exactly. All right. Hmm. All right. First, the Jungle Book. Um, wasn't quite sure what to think of it going in. It is a Disney movie. I knew it was going to be a family movie, but the trailers were really killing it. Mm -hmm. And I was interested in seeing it. And I have to say, was not disappointed. Well, what's interesting is uh, right now, Disney is kind of remaking all of their classic animated films. You have Cinderella, um, what was the other one they just came out? Oh, Alice in Wonderland could kind of be considered part of that. Um, Mount Mouth. Um, Maleficent. Those, yeah, the Sleeping the, Beauty one. Kind of a little bit. Not quite a full Sleeping Beauty remake, but similar. This one, The Jungle Book, was in a way kind of like watching the original one. The cartoon but come better. to life. It was much mm -hmm. better. The animation, the CGI, I floored me, honestly. Those little wolf puppies? Oh, I want one. I want a pet that talks like those little wolf puppies. <laughs> you want great. Yeah. Um, no, actually, the, the honestly, I was more impressed with anything, the child actor. Oh, I know. He really killed it. He I was mean, great. Um, was great. And like to Neil, think, Neil something. What was his name again? Um, but to think that the whole movie is filmed in a studio in Los Angeles. So basically, the only human actor is the kid, kid when he's talking to basically a tennis ball, and to see the emotions he got mm -hmm. on a green screen. Wow. Um, to be honest, there was only. No, I knew going in this was kind of a remake of the original. It is a much darker version. It's still kid friendly, but it's a much darker version than the original animated one. Mm -hmm. The only thing for me is they did sort of include some of the original songs in there. And for me, the placement was a little awkward. I think I could have done without the songs, but I kind of see why they did it. Um, I think they did include some of the songs. The movie would have worked without the songs, but I'm honestly on the other side. I really enjoyed the inclusion of the songs. Um, Christopher Walken as King Louie steals the show. It is a little creepy hearing him. Oh, he's so it. good. It is a little creepy. But, you know, <laughs> it depends on how you want it. Is, it is a darker take on the movie. Um, it is not for little kids. There are scary I would say moments. You don't take anyone younger than six. So. Yeah, but overall, I really liked it. Um, if I were to go rate it out of five, 4.8. Almost perfect. It was really good. Yeah, and I'd say about the same for me, 4.8. The only thing I, the reason I knock off point, two points is I, I wish they would have worked in the singing a little better. Mm. The Blue Song, of course, Bare Necessities, is in there. They worked that one in really well. For me, the King Louis, that was a little awkward. Uh, it's, you know, it's all subjective. But it is subjective, so yeah. we both have different tastes on songs. But, but overall, very enjoyable movie. Check it out. Definitely. Uh, really good. Whether you're a Disney fan or not, it's a really good movie. It is. I, I, I'm actually looking forward to seeing it, like what they do with other remakes. Um, I think I heard it might be in the works for Jungle Book 2, but I'm not yeah. quite positive. D Disney this year is going to make all the money. They are. Yeah. They've got this, they've got Marvel, they've got Star Wars coming out. So they are set for this year. All right. Let's talk about this Tree Shaker beer. Exactly. So the Tree Shaker beer, when we tried it, it is a really nice blend. Your first note is a nice hoppy bitterness. Um, now I was reading on Odell, um, what they're doing is they're changing up their filtration system. So after it comes out with fermenters, they're letting more of the hop oils come through, mm -hmm. which is why I think when I tried this, hops first thing you get very bitter, floral hops. very floral bitter floral exactly and mm. i really liked that and then it switches right over the peaches but it's not overpowering like candied peach or like artificial peach flavoring it's like biting into a fresh summer peach yeah because you get that hop 
flavor right in the beginning. It's real floral, mm. but then the sweetness goes yeah. over and it's that peach sweetness. It's not like candy. It's like real peach. And it works very well. And it actually works very well with an IPA. Yeah. It kind of surprised me. I've had like a few other peach beers, but I'm actually surprised how well it works with an Imperial IPA. And, and this is strong. It's an Imperial IPA, 8% you said. 8% mm -hmm. Um, And it lets you know it's 8%. You can taste that it's a stronger beer, mm -hmm. but it's quite nice. Um, it's not something that you can this just is not drink. sessionable. This is not something but you can sit and drink all day. Well, you can drink it all day, but... This, this <laughs> is a beer that I would love to sit outside and ice cold and out really good. I really liked the Tree Shaker Imperial mm -hmm. IPA. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So, so yeah. how would you rate it out of five? Out of five, tree shaker? I'm going to give it a 4.75. Um, I'm going to give it a solid... Uh, 4.8, right along, you know, almost with the movie. <laughs> I really liked this yeah, one. Yeah, it's, it's actually a really good beer. Um, mm. Odell has some amazing beers that they put out, so if you can get your hand on anything by Odell Brewing Company, do it. They have Yeah, give it a beers. shot. Yeah. All right, I think we are finished. Uh, let us know what you think. Yeah. Comment, subscribe, and, exactly, and see you next time. Stay tuned. Yeah.